yes, let's get this thing started. I don't, I do not have much time because we are going to uh, essentially uh, take a quick break to set everything up for like five minutes. And then we're going to jump into Rise and start doing stuff. So you haven't played the game yet? No. Outside of just testing its functionality to see if there actually would be a stream featuring the game, that's about it, right? That's literally about it. So I can't give you guys any impressions or anything because it's just become available, you know? Anyway, let's jump into this. I haven't even seen this stuff yet. No spoilers. Make sure I'm at the ultimate 720p. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. You guys are playing together. That's the idea. Monster Hunter is a multiplayer this game. Is for my uh, okay. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto. Oh man, it feels like we're back in Monster Hunter feels like series. we're back in world. Today, I'll be telling you a bit more about the <laughs> these, these style Monster videos Hunter make me feel Rise. like we're back in world. Hope you enjoy the show. Right, just the info. We have a new trailer for you today. So have a look. I'm waiting. And I'm ready. Oh, this is a new area. Holy crap. They actually have a snow zone. Snow zone? Snow zone. Who is this big fuzzy bitch? Wow, the gathering hub looks very... Or what might be, you know, just the hub. Getting a lot of personality. <laughs> Palico with all the armor on. What is this? What? That was ridiculously cute. You could like use your weapons in the gathering hub on certain things. What? <laughs> is this a Goss Herog? What? It's a giant bear monster. Simmons is going to love it. It's this insane looking mountain bear. Oh, Simmons is gonna love this. What is Logombi? Snow Panda? Oh, this thing, I hate this fucking thing. I saw this dude in like a previous game somewhere and I'm like, it's disgusting. The hell is this monster? I hate it. Oh, he's back. Ugh. Dramatic trail. Wait, what? Are you not? Wait, what? You're not mount. What? What? Wait a minute. He's on the back. What the hell? You get to use the monsters. Wait, what? Excuse me. Wait a minute. I need details. Damn, is it Magnamalo? Is that his new is that his name? The new uh the new hero monster? Shit. Wow, wow. Okay, so I mean absolutely confirmed that true turf wars are back. What is happening? What? What the hell you can use? You what? I have many questions. You don't just like bump them into walls, you can like ride them and then use them? Yo, wait, what? This guy looks ridiculously familiar. Somebody, some of you monster hunter weebs, give me the information. What, Mizu? Mizuguchi? What it? Mizutsuni? <laughs> give me some deeds. What the trailer. hell is that thing? It looks familiar. Now let's go into a bit more detail about the things Is that Monster Hunter 3 off. stuff? Take it away. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll just I'll just let I'll just let Sujimoto give me the deets. Let's start with the locales. We just showed off the Frost Islands. 
I still hope that they have some, like, blue skies, for God's sake, right? It's the one thing I have to, like, complain on the visual art style of the game. Everything's cloudy, this dude. This a nest of huge dragons a long That's time awesome ago. looking. Holy shit. And it is said many heroes came here to try and slay them to no avail. It has kind of a creepy atmosphere. There's Music's a large cool. variety of endemic life in each locale. They can help you out in various ways, so make that sure That was a you huge snow spider. Hunts. And you just, like, ate it. This is a cute wabbit. <laughs> We're gonna throw stuff at it. Let's have a look at the monsters that live here. This is Gos Harag. Gos Harag. So he's brand new. Dude, he's ridiculous. What does he look like a Devil May Cry enemy? Gos Harag is a creature that lives in icy regions, roaming the snowy fields for prey. It's a fang beast that attacks hunters using blades of ice that it creates <laughs> What with the its hell? Own breath. This dude's amazing looking. This is definitely my favorite of all the new monsters. Next up is the Flying Wyvern, Berioth. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Stupid monster, never heard of him. No one's ever heard of Berioth. A brand new monster, don't like him. <laughs> Berioth, <laughs> what the hell? It is a fearsome monster. Of course, Berioth's in here. And sharp spikes. Does he do anything ridiculously new? The spikes on its front paws and tail are actually scales that it uses to freely oh! move around them. So he's going to have the same stuff as like Tigrix, right? Or Tigrix? Where you bust their arms and they're probably gimped in movement. I'm only assuming. What the hell? Get this Next thing out of the, the game. Delete the, the files. Kesley. Delete the files. What? Oh my god! Get rid of it. Delete the files. This Erase my memory. This is a monster that mainly lives in dark places like caves. Be careful of the electricity it releases from its body and its long, twisty neck. This shit is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Some Resident Evil. It looks like it came out of like Wyvern. Resident Evil 3DS, Great like Revelations. Back. It is characterized by its blue-white skin color and the large protruding crest on its head. It catches prey by endemic life is getting messed up. That knocks them unconscious, so you'll need to protect yourself against the sleep status effect. Oh, does it? Ha so it has little friends? I think so. Next up is the fanged beast, Legombi. This is a cute bunny monster. Yeah, look at that cute bunny. It uses its belly to glide around the snow like a sled. I notice the monster designs so in this feel a, a little bit different than World, right? Where, where World tries to go like big and epic in some in some stuff, in some stuff, in some ways. And in this game, you get something like Lagambi, which is a more sort of, I guess, and now unique. We move on to the flying wyvern. These are old monsters. They aren't all wyverns. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, right? Right? They're, they're not all like dinosaur looking dragons. This is an aggressive monster that uses its well developed limbs to rush at its prey, dealing heavy damage with its claws and jaw. The Gombi's like Jagras tier? I see. I mean, just the crazy like Slither monster, right? Like Kizu, I think it was his name. It's pretty. completely different looking than anything that was in World. Just for like perspectives based. Let's look at some monsters from other locales. First up is the Leviathan Mizutsune, a very uniquely evolved creature. So it's like a water dog dragon? It secretes a special fluid that it can turn into bubbles by rubbing it against its body hair. These bubbles will greatly hinder your movement. There's just bubbles? <laughs> Anti bubble armor? Interesting. Okay. And here's the flagship monster of this game, 
Magna Malo. I don't know if I'm in. I don't know if I. I don't know if Magna Malo is giving me the Magna same body hit in the same ways that like Nergi Gante does. And it I don't know. Hunters with its tail we'll have and to wait till the game comes out. That looks like hellfire. Actually, when you see him in full in full combat here, he looks pretty cool. I realize we had seen him very little in just cinematic trailer before, but now he seems to be like very much brute like in many ways like Nergigante is, you know? Once you've met the unlock requirements, you'll be able to use your wire bug to bind monsters to use a feature called Wyvern Riding. So what the hell is it just wait it, it, wait, is it like you have to build this up to it, or is it just a new mount? To control wild monsters. You can even use this to make a monster attack other monsters. Dude, you get to literally control them like they are a player character. It, yeah, revamped mounting? Hua! Holy crap. Now let's have a look at your base where you will get to meet a bunch of colorful characters who will help make your hunting life a lot more interesting. You have to unlock it so it's a build-up. I wonder if it's like a chance, right? Like a like a high likelihood, similar this to mounting? This is Fugen, the village elder. He is deeply trusted and respected by the villagers, and he's a certified long sword wielder as well. Long sword users. Long sword users. These are the village quest and hub quest maidens, Hinoa and Minoto. They are Wyvarian twins, beloved throughout the village. Their songs bring peace to the villagers' hearts, and Minoto has even taken up painting recently. Is this your handler in the game? This is Yomogi, a cheerful young girl who runs the local tea shop. I don't like this guy already. I don't like his big earlobes. I'm freaking me out. This is Guildmaster Hojo. Oh my god, is that the new the Dodo Gama? Holy shit. All things quest related. He draws all of the quest notices that go up on the quest board. Holy crap, the new Dodo Gama. This is Master Utsushi, leader of the hunters in the village. The Buji no Jutsu? It's, it's actually a Tetsu Kabara? A Tetsu Cabra? Chat, you know too much Iori, about all the the, the, the world and sexual orientations and patterns and eating habits animals. of every creature in this game. It's mad intimidating. Calm it down. Oh my god, there's a ninja cat. This is feline chief Kogorashi. He's in charge of deploying the Meowcenaries. That's awesome. <laughs> He's got a cat clan. And this is Ron Dean, the trader. She came on a ship from a faraway country to make trade with the village. Your base contains some facilities to make your hunting life more interesting. This is the training area where you can try out weapon actions by oh. attacking a variety of objects. This is cute. You can even change the behavior of some of these objects. This is cute. With the help of all the villagers, you will have to take on the Rampage. We'll have more to share on the Rampage in the future. Oh, this is the thing I thought they were going to reveal, but I guess the big reveal today was the Wyvern riding. Yeah, some crazy raid Let's mode or something like that. Let's do a recap of the product information for Monster Hunter Rise. Don't know if it's a horde mode. No the idea. The release date is March 26th. 2021. There will be a standard edition and a deluxe edition that contains a set of recommended DLC. The DLC. Why do you say it like that? Exclusive bonuses like Why do you say it like that? For your Palamute and Palico and a novice talisman that'll help out during the early stages of the game. Make sure to pre-order so you don't miss out. We will also release three amiibo on the same day as the game. I'm gonna hand the mic back to the dev team because they're anxious this looks really to tell good. about the demo. The demo. Oh god, this was I guess the the big reveal. Hope you enjoyed that bevy of new information.
I'd like to talk about the demo now. And it's a word I haven't heard used in a while. No a bevy. The director of the game. Chad, I'm gonna give you a Hello, bevy everyone. of Monster I'm Hunter Rise today. Kinose, the director on Monster Hunter Rise. Quite a bevy. It's nice to be here. This demo has four quest types available. A beginner quest, an intermediate quest, a basic oh, training the quest, in and the a demo. wyvern riding training quest, which will help you get used to the new wyvern riding feature. Wow, that's an amazing image. <laughs> of course, all 14 weapon types are playable. The beginner quest and the intermediate quest can of course be played solo, but they are also available in local co-op and online co-op. Okay, this is what we're going to be checking out pretty soon, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. For this demo, you'll get to explore the Shrine Ruins. This is a great locale for learning about the wire bug and the new stat boosting endemic life featured in this game. Yeah, you just like roll by it and then pick it up now. The beginner quest features Great Izuchi, while the intermediate quest has you take on Mizutsune, which we revealed today. Of course, you'll be able to take a Palamute and or Palico with you so you can experience riding a canine and receiving various kinds of support from so your wait a buddies. Minute. I forgot if you can bring your Palamute slash Palico with you on quest multiplayer quests. Like four players bike. with their Palamutes and Palicos? And the Wyvern Riding Training Quest will let you try out the new Wyvern Riding feature. Oh, it looks like the monster was stunned first. Wyvern you can. You only bring one. That's what it was. Okay. You to control monsters for a while. Damn, all the verticality. damage through aerial attacks or silkbind attacks using the wire bug. Or your your gauge is full. Okay. To your so there's an actual gauge for While mounting the monster. Monsters, you can move around and attack, and you can even slam them into walls. So this is definitely something you'll want to check out. So you don't get to like ride it around for a ton of time. You you essentially get like a little bit of That's time to manipulate. I get it. The demo will be released on the date shown on screen. It will only be available for a limited time, so we hope you download it and give it a try. After this show, we will release some new videos that'll teach you about the wire. The time depends on your skills. I could see that. Yeah, you can actually have a class, writing. maybe. Check you can maybe out like actually build around riding the riding the mon action. monsters even more. Hmm. Thank you for joining us today. Oh no, is that it? We will have more to share with you on Monster Hunter Rise in the future, so stay tuned. Stick around. Uh, I have to see the other two videos. Yeah, they'll probably explain more. Okay, cool. Yeah, Chad, I'm not exactly sure when the demo itself is going to be out publicly, but in 20 minutes or so, uh, I am going to be playing it online with, uh, uh, with, with a few other streamers. Okay. Second. Let's see if we can find this thing. Yeah, the demo is not out. Some people are saying it is out. Some people are saying it's not out. Like, it might be out very soon. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, where is... Wirebug, Wyvern Writing. Okay, so hang on a second. Let's click on all these. I kind of want to know what the inputs are for, uh... Wirebug attacks, so I can figure out how to do them fast. Hello, I want to show off that stuff especially. to another Monster Hunter Rise video. Today we're going to be breaking down what the wire oh, three is, AM how EST. it works, and how to affect this what? new tool to your hunting tactics. Wire bugs are an integral part of your hunter's toolkit oh, oh, and offer a plethora of mobility options as well as some new attacks. Now it's important. Oh, to you can just hang from wire it. Wirebug moves rely on wirebug charges. Oh my God! Can you just hang these from it and then recharge the other one? But don't fret; these bugs will recover over time. Maybe. The ZL button is what we like to call the wirebug button. Pressing ZL in conjunction with other buttons will allow you access to a wide variety of moves. 
Some of these will allow you to reposition, outmaneuver and hunt your prey in diverse and unique methods. We're going to take a few moments to break these moves down so that you're fully prepared for the hunts ahead. Now before we go any further, it's important to remember that these moves are contextual and will change depending on whether your weapon is sheathed or drawn. Let's start with those available to you with your weapon sheathed. Pressing ZL and A on the ground will send you hurtling forward in the direction that your hunter is facing. This ability okay, allows zip. for fast repositioning either towards or away from the threats your hunter may be facing. That's yeah, neat that you can Pressing use that uh, defensively and offensively. In a diagonally upwards trajectory. This is an incredibly useful ability that will help you get aerial advantage over your targets or quickly reposition to avoid incoming grounded attacks. Holding ZL and then pressing ZR will fire a Y bug in the direction of your reticule. This will propel you in that direction with greater precision than any of the other methods. In the air, pressing ZL and ZR again will operate exactly as before. However, hmm. pressing the charge A is pretty or quick, X yeah. Whilst airborne will operate somewhat differently. Pressing ZL and X will keep you airborne and allow you to travel in the direction your hunter is facing. Okay. This is incredibly useful for maintaining mobility. Dude, you could probably air. like whip and zip out of stuff really. Or ZL and A will send you really quick. Running. I'm going to be messing around with this a lot today. This is perfect for those wanting access to grounded attacks and moves at a moment's notice. How do you use the unique wire bug attacks? I'm kind of curious about that. If you're that. having trouble remembering all of these, think of them like this. ZL and X will either get you airborne and keep you there and that using ZO and A will keep you grounded or get you there. Interesting. Pressing A whilst airborne will cause you to halt momentum and utilize a wire bug to hang in the Damn, air. there's a lot of functionality with the wire bug. Holy heck. From here, you can evade in a chosen direction by tilting the left stick and pressing B. This is an excellent maneuver for repositioning, recovering stamina and taking evasive action. Why a fall? When knocked off your feet by monster attacks, you can use the wireful technique to dust yourself off and get back into the. Fight. Oh, that's got a big recovery. Okay. Press Z, L, and B whilst knocked over so, to reposition and save yourself. Left trigger from and B. Of attacks. Performing a wire dash when facing a wall. Will allow a hunter right, right, right. Wait, I know what the wire weapon attacks are, but how to do them is what I'm asking. From there, I'm pretty sure they're going to go over it in this. Upwards, but at the cost of your stamina. Whilst wall running, your hunter cool. has access to other moves such as wall jumps or attacks. Okay. With the weapon readied, you'll have access to unique wire bug assisted moves, known as Silk Bind. So it's when silk in combat? can be triggered by pressing Z, L, and X, or A, depending on your weapon's moveset. Gotcha. And it costs... Range weapons can trigger these moves by holding it costs R two wire bugs. A, okay, so it costs both destroyed. of your wire bugs. Gotcha. We hope you've enjoyed this brief overview okay, cool. of the basics of using the wire bug. We hope we'll take this I feel like I've been primed. I think the most important ones are obviously teching off the ground when you get knocked down, switch, which is Z, L, and B, or L and B. And then L, and when you're in combat, wire bug, which is L, and then you press attack, right? Because attack should be... I keep forgetting we're on a damn... We're on a damn switch controller chat, so Y is like something other, or is it X? It's X. Okay, so X is Y. Nintendo! Come on! Come on! Um... Okay, very cool. I think I might have a couple more minutes, chat, before we have to get this thing prepped and get into, like, a room and a lobby and stuff, so... Let's watch the, the last video on Wyvern writing, so we can get a better understanding of this. Everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise video. <gasps> Hurry it up, Today, man! I don't have much time! 
This powerful addition to your arsenal wow. takes a bit of preparation. Mounted Punisher? So let's break it down. Oh now, before you can ride any monster, you will have to bring it down to a susceptible condition where you can latch on Ironbind Silk and take command. Gotcha. So this once you, like, essentially stun state. them in a certain way. Okay. You listen to me now. You can secure a mount by dealing enough damage with Wyvog jumping attacks, using silt bind moves. Dude, how Let's long do you wear each other down in battle? How long do you get on it? Like... Endemic life. Oh, that's awesome. The spider can act like a trap to set up immediately for it. What? Once you've taken the reins, you can control the monster in a variety of ways. Oh, the timer is weird looking. Around the map by it's like a kunai that is counting monster. down. Okay. I'd imagine you're going to lose chunks. You can also have the monster dish out light or heavy attacks by pressing X It's not going a. down any faster. You stay on this thing for a long time, dude. And even perform evasive wow. maneuvers with the B button. In a pinch, you can also perform an emergency evade, but that will cost you one wire bug gauge. So However, you're using wire bug gauge. Right incoming attack will fill your wire and riding gauge. Wow! We're holy crap! Too much! Gauge, too much functionality! It. Holy if you're crap! To deal some serious damage to the monster you're currently riding. You can press the Y button to launch it forward and dismount. See ya. This will topple the monster if it hits an obstacle or another monster. Proficient hunters Too much ZL. can even chain together multiple to launches by pressing the B button right as the collision happens. This will cost wire bugs, so proceed. Oh my god, that's incredible. Oh my god, that's incredible. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is for my fellow hunter. Now, you can't Will you shut up, forever. hunter man? The wire and ride in timer will tell you how much time you have left on your current mount. Mm, taking damage. Other monsters will recoup some of that time spent. But if your mount gets hit, you'll lose a good chunk of time. The big gauge on the center of the screen is known as the Wyvern Riding Gauge. Attack other monsters and perfectly evade incoming moves. Do you get supers? Gauge. Once filled, you'll be able to perform a Mounted Punisher. By what the hell, dude? Oh together. my god. You get supers. The window for you to execute that command is small, but the payoff is huge. huge. After a mounted Punisher, you'll automatically dismount the monster. That's really neat. Okay. Each monster has its own unique attacks available when mounted. Whether you're looking to topple your targets or dish out devastating damage to another monster, the wire and riding. That one was very unspectacular. Maybe that's what it was. When you're out on the hunt, keep a lookout oh, for other monsters nearby. Yo, I just found this Rathian over here. Yo. We hope you enjoyed this brief overview of the basics of Wyvern Riding. We hope you'll take this knowledge and develop it even further when you get your hands on Monster Hunter Rise, which arrives on Nintendo Switch. Wow. Okay. This is crazy, right? I wonder how much of this is going to be in the game, you know? There is Turf Wars as well, yeah. There is Turf Wars, but uh, it's like how much of you riding like monster Gundams is it? Is there going to be? I think it's going to be hard to tell until we actually get into it.